हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन लेवल पैरलिज्म इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इंस्ट्रक्शन लेवल पैरलिज्म सो देयर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ पैरलिज्म बिट लेवल पैरलिज्म इंस्ट्रक्शन लेवल पैरलिज्म टास्क लेवल पैरलिज्म data level parallelism and we have already discussed on bit level parallelism so now our current session topic is the topic of our current session is instruction level parallelism instruction level parallelism works on two approaches there are two approaches to instruction level parallelism hardware approach and software approach hardware approach works according to dynamic parallelism and software approach works according to static parallelism so in dynamic parallelism processor decides about the processes that will run parallelly and in static parallelism compiler will decide about the number of processes that will run parallelly so till now you have learned about the approaches that are used in instruction level parallelism here we take an example of a program this program is containing three statements three operations so first statement is doing the sum of a and b variables first statement is doing the sum of a and b variables and c and d are also being added and after addition addition result is stored into f variable so first statement is using a and b variable second statement is using c and d variable both statements do not depend on each other first statement do not depend on second statement second statement do not depend on first operation because both statements are using their own variables but third statement depends on first and second operation because third statement is making is doing the product is doing the multiplication of e and f first e value is coming from first statement and f value is coming from second statement so third statement depends on first and second statement so operation 1 and 2 do not depend on any other operation but operation 3 depends on the result of operation 1 and 2 and operation third cannot be calculated until both of them are completed until operation first and second are not completed third operation cannot be calculated so here the operations that do not 
depend on each other can be run simultaneously so we have learned about which type of operations can be executed parallelly so the operation that do not depend on each other operations that do not depend on each other can be executed simultaneously so here operation 1 and 2 can be run simultaneously so suppose if every statement is taking one unit of time so three statement will take three minutes total time for the execution of these statements will be three minutes so here instruction level parallelism rate will be 3 upon 1 and now we have learnt the statements that do not depend on each other can be run parallelly so if we run first and second statement in first minute parallelly the time will be saved and when first minute will give us the values of e and f then third operation can be done in next one minute so here three statements are being executed within two minutes so here instruction level parallelism rate will be three instruction per two minutes three instructions per two minutes i l p rate is three instructions upon two i hope you would have understood it very well so so instruction level parallelism allows the compiler and the processor to overlap the execution of multiple instructions in this way multiple instruction can be executed parallelly in same interval of time so even we can change the order in which instructions are executed order can be when we run statements parallelly then the order of the statements can be according to our choice so compiler and processor designers take advantage of as of this ilp as much as possible so thank you for this session have a nice time and keep on watching our channel so thank you have a nice time bye bye and please subscribe our channel